So it should be evident to all of you uh, that the many successes that come out of the mission area start in this room and from this conference and many ideas and connections that are made uh, happen right here at this conference. And I, I know how difficult it is to organize conferences at the best of times, so uh, putting something on in a hybrid fashion is, is certainly an achievement. You really get a kind of sneak, a sneak peek at the state of the art in terms of what everyone else is doing. So it, it just shows you what's on the horizon, what's, what's being done right now, and it helps you stay connected with uh, where everything's going. One of the things that I really like about this conference is the mix. Oftentimes you go to conferences and it's mainly academic, it's mainly government, or it's mainly industry. And having that, that group together is kind of like a secret sauce for getting things to happen. Now this is an interdisciplinary conference where you have people who are very, very deep in their field of study and their expertise, and they're sharing that knowledge with each other in an environment that otherwise you know, couldn't happen or won't happen anywhere else. I feel like most of the people I've continued to maintain contact with are the people that I've worked with through this conference and met at this conference, the Amos Technical Conference, over the past 20 years. Getting to talk to your peers and understand what they do, whether they're in a different part of the industry or not. Um, the space industry is really small, so these connections that we make now are going to be really great you know, 20, 30 years from now when hopefully like, we're in charge of you know, everything that's going on. So we'll already have those connections and have the bonds that will make everything easier in the future. How do we protect and defend while at the same time enabling free and fair use for all? We're literally at the cutting edge of whatever topic you choose as it pertains to the space application. And some of the people who come here to present and talk about space as an application for machine learning happens right here at the Amos. That, that, that none of those things are going to be easy. All right, significant advances in science and technology are needed to perform space domain awareness from VLEO to Cislunar and beyond. And we have some of those things started, but we need your help. And is our rate of, uh, our rate of growth sustainable? Right, there, there are things that we can do to make space safer. And I think we all, we all need a sense of urgency to, um, to do what we can. For to... me, I see this as the beginning of a really long engagement at the international level on a topic that we've kind of sidelined and overlooked for, um, for a long time. This, uh, this event is unique in its, uh, in its venue and also in our ability to connect with our customers and our partners. In, uh, in an environment in which uh, it's a little bit less formal. I go to Amos because it's the premier conference for space situational awareness, so you meet all the people that, that do everything in the field. So it's the premier conference to go for my field of space situational awareness, but also it's just a, an incredible place to be. Uh, always a good energy to have um, in, in Maui, so. I feel like um, it's, there's, always, there's always new faces to meet in the field and, and Amos is a really good one for bringing all of those, those people together. I think, again, because of the, the nice weather and the beaches, it does, it does attract people from all across the globe. Um, so it's really nice to, to kind of expand networks every year.